With local governments around the country forcing the closure of dining in restaurants, the industry is facing a disastrous decline in revenue as communities grapple with attempts to flatten the coronavirus curve. The small family-owned establishments are among the worst hit. What people don't understand sometimes is that the restaurant industry uh, runs on a very, very, very slim profit margin. So the minute it stops, you start to bleed. Linda and Claudio Marini, owners of De Claudio, a small restaurant tucked in the heart of New York City's financial district, say they have no option but to think creatively. Since we both work in the business, we have no income coming in. We have three kids, we have rent, we have our obligations, we have our employees coming to us asking for work. Like many small restaurants, the Claudios are providing takeout, delivery, and have even set up a wine marketplace to bring in income, despite the risks. As we're still exposing ourselves, we have employees that are traveling in subways. We will do whatever it takes. For this couple, it's the second time they're facing loss. Hurricane Sandy wiped out their original restaurant in 2012. Surviving Sandy showed them they have what it takes to survive this pandemic. The restaurant industry estimates a $200 billion decline in sales. And they've asked the government for $145 billion of recovery funds. We need help right away. And... You need to react right away. So businesses were already struggling, and something like this will kill many businesses. Marini says that for many locals, applying for government funds is not only tedious, but it's also time-consuming. These times of uncertainty, hope and loyalty are what's keeping their spirits alive. Every time I come in here in the evening when I see our guests, it just makes us feel like we're doing something right, and. We just have to keep on going.